Hello residents and friends, greetings from Heartbeat at Bedok. Today, Zaya and I are very happy uh, to join you for 30 minutes of exercise. What we're going to do is that we're going to start up with uh, warm-up exercises and then we're going to do the main exercises which will uh, exercise your shoulder, uh, your back as well as your thighs and your legs. And then after that, we'll follow with some uh, cool-down exercises. But before we go further, we need some basic equipment. Zayat, over to you. Alright, so for this exercise, you're just going to need a few basic equipment, nothing too crazy. So you're going to need a yoga mat. Alright. There you go. A water bottle. And the towel. Now, if you don't have a yoga mat at home, not everybody has one. It's okay, you can just find a big bath towel or any sort of mat. That'll be fine. All these three items, basic things, you can start your workout with that. So let's get started. Yeah. Our first warm-up exercise is high knees exercise. We will start slow and we'll go fast, all together, one minute. This is how we start. Make sure your body posture is straight and you train to bring your knees as high as you can. And you do that for the first uh, 30 seconds. And then they start to increase speed. And then you start to jump on the spot a bit. Our next warm-up exercise is called a caterpillar walk. This is how you do it. We try to do 8 or 10 times. Syed, are we ready? Let's go! That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. Okay, is that how do you feel? Good. Feel good? Let's do two more for our residents. Sure. Right. Okay. That's nine. And the last one. There you go. I hope you're feeling good. Our third warm up exercise is actually a forward lunge but with a twist. Okay, here it goes. Okay, what you do when you go forward, keep your upper body straight and then you turn right, you come back and then you go forward, keep your upper body right, you turn left. Alright, simple. When you do this, you should feel the strain on your back and also on your back thigh. Side, how many times have we done? Five. Let's go for five more. All right. Yeah, okay, eight. Two more. Two more. The last Done. one. Uh, 
Okay. There you go. There you go. Thanks. All right. So this will be the first set of us doing our push-ups. So push-ups might be a challenging exercise, but there are different ways that you can get through it without having to exert yourself too much or get injured. So for your push-up positions, just start with your hands shoulder width apart. All right. For those who have difficulty doing a normal push-up, you can do it on your knees. It's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. So establish your posture. All right. And then pick yourself up. Your back shouldn't be too high, shouldn't be too low like this. Just nicely parallel to the ground. All right. It'll just do 10 reps for the first set. All right. Ready? Okay. Okay, sure. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And ten. Nice. Good job. Good. All right, so that's it for the first set. Welcome to the second exercise. This is what we call Superman. You may not be a Superman in life, but you can be Superman during exercise. That's how we do it. Let's do it <laughs> 10 times. Sure. Okay? All right. First, you stretch out your body. Get ready to raise your arm, your hands, and your legs straight up. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, down. Three, two, three, down. Four, two, three, down. And five, two, three, down. You need to control your breathing. Six, two, three, down. Seven, two, three, down. And eight, two, three, down. And nine, two, three, down. And last time, ten, two, three, down. Nice. How do you feel? This is good for your back. Yes. Especially for those with back problem. The third exercise we're going to do is called squats. We're going to do 10 times each just to make sure that your uh, body posture is upright as you squat. This is how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. I hope you feel good. Our fourth exercise is actually reverse lunges. All right, we will do 10 uh, repetitions. Uh, this is how it goes. Just make sure that your body is kept upright when you do so, all right? Said, yeah. shall we go? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, let's go. All right. That's one. When go you're doing slow. this exercise, do try your best to keep your posture upright and control your breathing, especially. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Seven. Eight. 
8. Nine, and the last one. Ten. Nice. How do you feel? Well done. Okay, welcome back. The first exercise, which is push up, we're gonna do the second set. This time round, we're gonna do 12 reps. Are you right. ready? Si? Good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Chop. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's do Superman again, our second exercise. And then uh, this is the second set. Uh, we're going to do it 12 times, right? Okay, let's do. Get yourself in the position. Stretch up your hands and your legs. And when you lift up, lift up straight, right? Ready, go. One, two, three. Da. Two, two, three. Da. Three, two, three. Da. Four, two, three. Da. Five. Two, three, down. Six, two, three, down. Seven, two, three, down. Eight, two, three, down. Nine, two, three, down. And ten, two, three, down. Eleven, two, three, down. And twelve, two, three, down. That's nice. all for now. Nice. Right. This is the third exercise. We're going to do it the second time and uh, because you're used to it the first time, so we're going to do 12 reps this time. Uh, just to pay attention, keep your knees pointing outwards so that when you go down, your body is still upright and pointing outwards. Shall we go? Sure. Okay, right. let's go. One. Nice. Slowly. Two. Feel the strain on your back. Three. Keep your body upright. Nice. Go down, as parallel to the ground as you can. Remember to keep your chest out, your back That's straight. Right. And eight. Control your breathing. Nine. And ten. Two more to go, yeah? Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Nice. That's good. Welcome to the fourth exercise, and this is the second rep. Now, this time round, uh, just pay attention that when you bring back your leg, bend your left leg first. All right, so your body goes down straight and comes up straight like this. All right, shall we go? Sure. Ready, go.
That's one. Keep just, your body straight. Just remember, you can put your hands anywhere you like as long as it's comfortable for you. Whether that be together or on your hips, totally fine. That's four. That's five. Six. Control your breathing as you go down. Keep your chest out. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Let's two more. Two, yeah. more huh? two more. Yeah. Last one. Very good. Nice. You've done it. Okay, welcome to the uh, first exercise, uh, third set. Now this is push-up, all of us know what to do push-up, we have done two rounds already. So this time round, we're going to do 15 reps. Okay, you try, I try. Sure. Shall we? Alright, we'll do. Okay. Alright, we're getting to your push-up uh, push position. Uh, establish your form first. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. For those who are unable to do the uh, actual intense push-up itself, you can always do it on your knees, there's no problem with that. So keep your hands shoulder width apart. You raise your legs, don't have your back too high up, don't have it too down low. Just nicely plank. Alright? Alright. Ready to begin? Okay, let's go. Alright. Fifteen. Fifteen right again. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Welcome to the second exercise, uh, third round. All right, we're going to do 15 reps. You have done it just now, and let's do Superman again. Right, ready? Okay, ready, go. Up, two, three, four. Down. Up, two, three, 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 down. Four more. Two, three, down. Three more. Two, three, down. Two more. Two, three, down. Last time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. <laughs> you feel good? Feeling good. Okay, yeah. very good. We're good. Welcome back to the third exercise, squats. This time round, because you are doing so well, we're going to do 15 reps. Are yeah, you ready? All good. Let's go. Okay, go down slow. Make sure you keep your body upright. 
this will uh, strengthen your hamstring. Very good for people with knees problem. Try not to let your knees go past your toes. All right, keep them as close to your body as you can. Keep your chest out and control your breathing. How many more times to go? No one. <laughs> okay. That's good, I lost count. <laughs> Welcome back to the fourth exercise and this is the last repetition we're going to do. We're just going to do 15 reps. Alright, so I hope you can catch up with us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Alright. Remember to keep your body straight. Two. And also, try to open Three. up your chest. And try to... Uh, Push forward so that you have a good posture. How many have we done? So six, six, right? Yeah. Seven. You're going to control your breathing as you go down. And ten. Slow down. The 11. Keep your posture straight. Chest out. Tuck your chin in. Good reminder. Relax your shoulders. That's right. Okay, one last time, huh? One more time. Okay. There, there we go. go. 15 nice. times. I'll get. Residents and friends, uh, we have come to the end of our main exercises. I hope you are feeling good. Now we begin our cool down exercises. The first one is just to do deep breathing. Right, Zayed? Yeah, sure. All good. So in breathing, it's important that you breathe in through your nose and you exhale through your mouth. Just deep breaths, try and relax. Okay? So. Try and relax your shoulders. Try not to keep yourself too tense. Breathe in for about three seconds and then exhale for about three seconds as well. Try and get your heart rate down. Alright, so that's it for the first one. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is our second cool down exercise. Uh, we have done Superman just now and we're going to do Ultraman now. This is how we do it, right over left. For 30 seconds and try to pull back so that you feel the strain on your right arm. You would ideally want your forearm to be coming towards your elbow and then pulling it away from you. Just stretch. You should be feeling it in your shoulder area. Yeah. Stretch. Remember to control your breathing as well when you're doing this. So deep breaths. Allow your muscle to relax. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think we can change over to the other yeah. side. All right. Same thing. Likewise. So your forearm should be near your you elbow. You should feel some yeah. strain on this part of your arm. Just push. Remember to keep breathing as well. Don't forget to breathe. Deep breaths. 
feel your muscles stretching. Try not to keep too tense. Okay, right. that's it. Yeah. Well, this is our third cool down exercise. Uh, because of the squats we do and you know other exercise we uh, did just now, we're going to stretch our hamstring. Uh, we're going to do it uh, at 15 seconds each time. Uh, this is how you do. If you can stretch out your both uh, legs straight, you can touch it as fine. If not, you can open up a little bit and this is how you do it. So while uh, he's demonstrating the legs further apart, I'll demonstrate the ones closer together. Right? If it's possible, try and touch your toes and pull it back if you can. If you can. If you can't, it's fine. Just like this will be still be okay. Alright. Okay, now it's 15 seconds. You rest a while and then go back down again. You'll find that the second time you do it probably is easier because your hamstrings have been stretched. If you feel like you can go further, you can try. No worries. Important thing for this cool down is to focus on your breathing. Alright. And then we rest a while and then we go back down now. See whether you can do it again for 15 seconds. Try and relax. You'll definitely feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Just breathe. Okay. Rest one second and then let's go back to the last 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, yeah, that's it. Our 30 minute exercise has really come to an end very quickly. And now we're going to do the last cool down exercise, which is chow pose. Alright, when you do chow pose, just remember to keep your butt as close to your heel as possible. And then you stretch forward, and then you relax and go down. Feel the stretch on your back, like this. So we'll be holding this position for a total of one minute. So we'll have our stopwatch here. Okay. And then inhale, slowly. Exhale to your mouth, slowly. Take a deep breath again. And try and relax, clear your mind. Focus on your breathing. Try and get your heart rate down. Feel the stretch on your back. And exhale. Try and relax, don't tense up. Okay, one minute. One minute is up. How do you feel? Feeling good. I think we can go for another 30 minutes, right? <laughs> Dear residents and friends, uh, thank you very much for joining us in the last uh, 30 minutes. Uh, we have done various exercises uh, from shoulder to the legs and also on the back. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, this is my first uh, attempt, uh, you know, interacting with you in this way. But I'm sure there will be many opportunities in future of doing so. But most importantly, uh, we need to keep fit and healthy uh, for this period. Uh, this is my uh, wishes for all of you. Stay home, be happy.